I have a browser open here today that's already been logged into the Telerik platform. And from a strict setup standpoint to begin creating mobile apps, this is all I have to do. Log into a website in a browser. I can begin writing code, debugging code, running simulators, deploying my code, all from a browser, from any machine I sit down at, because the Telerik platform is taking care of everything else, all the SDKs for me in the back end. Now, if you were working with another code editor, and a lot of developers have preferred code editors like Visual Studio or Sublime Text or many, many others, then we have many integrations with Telerik platform to help you write your code and take advantage of these build services wherever you most prefer to write code. One of the options available is a command line interface. And so just to show you what the setup process for that might look like, I've got a terminal window here open on my Mac. On a Windows machine, you might open up a command prompt. And from the node package manager, or NPM, I'm going to go ahead and install globally the App Builder CLI. The App Builder CLI brings in all of the commands I need to be able to do everything I can do building and debugging apps via the browser interface or via Visual Studio plugins into my command line. And since I've already done this step or taken this step previously, I simply need to come here and say App Builder. And when I do that, I'm going to get a full review of all the commands I can issue via the App Builder CLI. And you can see it's quite a lot. I can manage my certificates, device commands, plugin management, as well as creating new projects, deploying them, simulating, all those things I need to do to be successful building my app. So since I already have my CLI installed and I have a browser with an internet connection, I am ready to go. My development environment is set up. I can go straight on to the next step of building my mobile app.